So for past couple of months, I have been using this Windows laptop until yesterday when I finally made a switch to MacBook Air. And I have to say, oh man, it's good to be back. Even if you're world's biggest Windows fan, you have to agree, Mac UI is far more intuitive than Windows. So if you are making a transition from Windows to Mac, or if you have never used a Mac before but would like to try out this feature, then here are some of the tools that will help you out. Though, before we begin, this video is not about customization or how to make your Windows look like Mac. Apps like these don't work. In fact, they eat up your resources and make your PC slower. In fact, in this video, we are going to cover applications that are actually practical and do work. So with that being said, let's get started. One of my favorite features on Mac is Quick Preview. For those who don't know what it is, well, when you click on the file and press the space bar, a preview of the item pops up, like a photograph, a video, or even a document. Windows on the other hand, if you open a picture, it will take ages to open that with the photo app. Thankfully, you can try the free Quick Look app. When you press the space bar, it will show you the preview, just like you see on your Mac computer. And it not just works for photos and videos, but you will also be able to preview a zip or RAR files as well as the Photoshop files. Another cool feature of macOS is the native screenshot editor. When you press Command Shift plus 4 on your Mac, then you can capture any part of the screen. If you want to grab a window, well, simply press the space bar and it will capture the entire window and save it on your desktop. Super handy. On the other hand, to take screenshots on Windows, you will have to use the Paint app. Yes, Windows 10 also gives you the option to automatically save screenshot now. If you press Windows plus Paint screen and then it will save the screenshot in the picture folder. But still, there is no option to crop it. Fortunately, you can use app like Lightshot. Simply install the application and then press Print screen. You can also set it to Ctrl Shift plus 4 but it makes no sense. And then you will be able to select an area on your screen which you want to capture. Once done, you can save it or copy it on your clipboard if you want to edit it with Photoshop. But here's the cool thing, it goes one step further than the Mac screenshot editor. With Lightshot, you can also annotate and edit your screenshots. If you're jumping ship from Mac to Windows, I'm sure one feature that you're going to miss most is the Spotlight. For those who don't know what it is, well, Spotlights provide you an easy way to launch application or go to a specific settings of a page or do calculation, conversion, etc. It is something that I can't live without. It's super useful. Yes, on Windows, you can use the search bar, but it's not that intuitive. Enter Vox, an open source application that gives you Spotlight feature on Windows. You can launch application, file, search on the web. What's even better, you can even add plugins to Vox. For example, if you install Weather Forecast plugin, you will be able to see weather forecast of upcoming week. Just type in forecast followed by your city name and it will show you the result instantly. Another plugin like Simple Web Search allow you to search any query on Google right there. Just install the plugin and then run any query and Vox will give you the result in no time. How cool is that? You can also add themes and customize your Vox to make it look exactly like macOS Spotlight. I personally don't use hot corners, but for those who use it a lot, might miss it on Windows. For example, when I move the mouse pointer all the way to the bottom right of my screen, it starts the slideshow. Or you can also set it to other things like put display to sleep or go to desktop. It's pretty cool if you get used to it. To get similar feature on Windows, you can use WinX Corner. Like hot corners on Mac, it also allows you to assign specific actions like show desktop, start screensaver or turn monitor off to the four corners of your desktop. So there you go, these were some of the Windows applications that I was using to get macOS feature on this PC. Personally, I would love to see an airdrop alternative for Windows. Yes, you can also use ShareIt and Zender, but I don't trust those Chinese softwares. That said, let me know if you have any recommendation in the comment section below. Like always, it's Vinas signing off. I will see you in the next one.